Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite carrot cakes ever. It is my Grandma Barb's most requested carrot cake. You guys are gonna love this one. Let's go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is mix up some stuff. We have my vegetable oil. I'm gonna add that into a large bowl. Then we're gonna add in some white sugar, sprinkle that right on in. And then we're gonna add in some fluffy, brown sugar, okay? White sugar, brown sugar, mm -hmm. We're gonna mix this all up until it is well combined and looking like applesauce. It reminds me of applesauce, I don't know why, but it does. Okay, now we're gonna add in our eggs, three eggs here, just dump those right on in, keep that mixer going, mix everything all up like that, it looks perfect. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract, very easy carrot cake so easy let's move on to our carrots oh y'all I have three different textures here I just use like the three smallest slots on my um, grater have I kind of like a pulpy texture the large um, grated texture and then the fine grated texture yeah my grandmother always uses three different types of textures in her carrot cake we're gonna dump this right into our bowl just like that and I love that this carrot cake is orange. You know, some carrot cakes are kind of like a like you know a brownish color, but this carrot cake is so orangey. It's actually much darker in person than it is on the screen, but it has a really nice color to it, and I love that. Okay, that part is done. We're gonna move on to our dry ingredients. I have some flour right here in this little bowl. I'm gonna add in some baking soda, and then I'm gonna add in some salt. I have some cinnamon, some nutmeg, clove. Dump that right on in. This cake is like perfectly spiced. It's not too cinnamony, and it's not too you know don't have too much ginger all that kind of stuff in it yeah perfect blend of spices here okay now I need some milk hmm I wonder what kind I'm gonna use you already know okay <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients go ahead and mix it up really good gradually here and then we're gonna alternate it with some buttermilk because buttermilk makes it better always all right go ahead and repeat that until you have all of your dry ingredients mixed in and you have all of that luscious luscious buttermilk mixed in this buttermilk and that carrot pulp and that brown sugar yes it's like the perfect storm for the moistest carrot cake ever and you can add in some coconut pineapples nuts if that's the way you get down i can't do it y'all can't do it okay i poured it oh i can't wash this part Ugh. I don't like this part, but go ahead and dump the batter into those prepared pans. They're grease and flour, but yeah. Mm. Okay, that part's over. I really couldn't wash that part. I'm not even funny. All right, so our cake, our batter is in our cake pans. So we're going to bake this at 350 for about 15 to 18 minutes. Don't take long, so don't overbake these cakes, okay? Let them cool in the pan until the pan is warm to the touch, and then go ahead and flip them out. I get my little spatula and kind of go around the edges so, um, you know, they come out really easily. All right, go ahead and flip them bad boys on out. We're going to let them finish cooling. Just like that. Come on, lay it down, girl. There you go. They flip out really, really easy. Okay, very easy. Okay, so let them finish cooling off until they are completely cool. For my frosting, I'm using my favorite cream cheese frosting ever. It's a bit thick. I just took it out of the fridge, so it's kind of like really, really thick right now. But you can let it sit out, get nice and soft and stuff. I will link that recipe above. I've done a video on that recently, so yeah. Then go ahead and just frost your little carrot cakes. Mm. This cream cheese frosting is everything, everything. And of course, you can do some little fancy design if you if you're a cake decorator. You know, you can do all that kind of stuff. I just threw it on there like I always do. And I went ahead and put on some little pecans up top, you know, make it look a little pretty. But here's the part that I'm waiting for right here. Like I seriously get happy when it comes to this part of my video. Okay, let's it's like a present, you know, a surprise. Okay, let's open it up and here's that texture. What? Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. You guys look at this. Oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing that texture? That texture is like perfection. It's moist and it's tender and it's just everything. It is giving me everything I need. Oh, look at that. Stick to the back. Oh my goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. Wait, watch this come see about me. Look at that. It's the perfect crumb. Like, I go crazy over perfect crumb texture. And they're right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Thursday and Sunday at 8 o'clock. Later.